Historical and Contemporary Dynamics Around Depopulation in Europe. Hi, I'm Emilia Radu, team member of the project Rural Development for Employment, co-founded through Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. In the first chapter, we will explore together some of the historical and contemporary dynamics around depopulation in Europe. For the past 30 years, Europe is struggling with the population phenomenon and the fast-paced aging of the population. It is only in the last 10 years that politics has begun to take note of this. If the problem is dramatic in countries such as Germany, it is even more acute in the Southern and Eastern European countries. Here, in fact, due to the severe economic stagnation, low birth rate and aging population, the deep population phenomenon is very present, especially in rural areas. Population decline has been influenced by two key geopolitical events, the collapse of the Soviet Union and the enlargement of the European Union. The depopulation phenomenon is correlated with a massive exodus of the youth population. These events allowed a greater movement of citizens amongst former Soviet states. Additionally, entry into the European Union, which permits for free movement of people, has actively encouraged many citizens to look for opportunities elsewhere. Latvia is emblematic of this trend. Since accession to the European Union in May 2004, it has lost one-fifth of its population. Many of the countries most afflicted of depopulation problems are also those most opposed to policies increasing immigration. This aspect is problematic because increased inward flows of immigrants are perceived as the key ameliorating factors and one of the economically simple fixes too. The problem of rural depopulation is often seen as a vicious circle since depopulation is directly responsible for the reduction of service in healthcare and education. The lack of services pushes people to move to larger cities. This further depopulation aggravates the problem, especially since it is often young adults who leave rural areas. It can directly influence the demographics of a village, leaving mostly the elderly people and not enough workers to support the economy and the local labor market. As more people leave, nobody wants to remain in the village as fewer services, entertainment shops are available. Eventually, the village can become deserted. Contemporary examples of depopulation in Europe. Dealing with the issues of depopulation and abandonment of villages and small towns in Italy and Europe is amongst the goals of the economic and social policies aimed at investigating and experimenting new strategies for the regeneration and reactivation of urban spaces. An extensive literature collects researches aimed at analyzing the problem, exploring diverse management and design approaches, alternative measures to stop the phenomenon and innovative legislative incentives and economic tools. Europe faces increasing and territorially differentiated demographic challenges. Aging and depopulation will bring about changes in many regions, including rural and peripheral regions, and lead to severe impacts for social and territorial cohesion, public services provision, labor market, and housing. Migration mainly from less developed non European Union countries constitute specific challenges and opportunities, and also the past economic crisis could provide an opportunity for a transition towards more sustainable and resource-efficient economic structures if appropriate actions are taken. However, immigration is not the only tool to address the depopulation phenomenon. Social measures must be put in place to encourage birds to improve the quality of social and economic life of families with children. Let's take a look at the Italian case. The demographic decline has a natural cause due to the dynamics of births and deaths, and social one due to the dynamics of immigration and emigration. The problem of the population, which has its root in an increasingly reduced birth rate that does not compensate for mortality, is exacerbated by an adverse migration dynamic. 
The population cannot be understood only as a mere abandonment of marginal territories, but as a progressive process of depletion of human and social resources and consequently a limit to processes of growth, development qualification and territorial sustainability. The causes of the progressive decrease in the population must first of all be sought in a very negative natural dynamic. In all regions, birth rates are too low to compensate for mortality rates. These unfavorable natural dynamics are common to the other regions of the center and north of the country, which benefit from positive migratory growth rates. Migration dynamics also largely contribute to aggravating the situation in the south and Calabria. The region is not attractive for foreign migratory flows, most of which are passing through, and it loses substantial flows of the population, especially highly qualified young people who decide to move largely towards the northern regions and to foreign countries. The population processes concern in particular the internal areas that lose the most lively, young, qualified and productive components of their population. The areas are often becoming ghost areas, characterized by high demographic agent and abandonment. Whole countries, entire communities from this region are destined to disappear in the following years. A very important element that forces young people to leave some areas of southern Italy is the high level of organized crime which prevent the peaceful development of production activities even in areas rich in natural resources and beauty. New Sea Dynamics It is necessary to take note of it and put it in place adequate social policy interventions that work together on several aspects, making rural areas more attractive, requalification of internal areas, integration of migrants, job placement of young people and women, investments in the territories in order to support the business present, and relaunch their economic attractiveness and improve its services. In the absence of serious and integrated policy on all these aspects, it will be impossible to stop the negative spiral generated by the population.